What is going on? I'm Zedmod. Of course, that is Zedmod over there in that creator boost. And some of you are confused because the YouTube channel is called Anon Moose, but I'm calling myself Zedmod. I suck at branding. That's about the only explanation for that business. Uh, we're going to get into it today. We're going to start a little bit different. One of our members of the Kindergarten 9, which has one spot available, by the way, uh, Task Force is asking for advice on their attack. So we're going to do that right here, right now, live and in charge. So first of all, they are, let's just double check what level they're at so that we can all play along with this. And by the way, if you guys have advice for Darius as well, please do throw it in the comments. And my first bit of advice is the fact that Darius is doing the right thing. Get on an active task force, share your attacks, be a lower level in that task force. If you can be the worst player in your task force, you are in a great spot. I know that's intimidating, but that the only way to go is up and all you can do is learn in that situation. So Darius is uh, level 43. They are probably HQ, yeah, HQ 17. Obviously HQ 18 would be helpful because they'd get an extra statue. Statues look pretty good. Uh, one resource reward, bunch of offense. First advice would be to get rid of that troop health. More damage would be better than more troop health, especially if you're using Zookas. Get an extra damage. More damage is beneficial compared to that troop health. Troop health useful for Mega Crab and for using troops that walk through bases, but get some damage there. Uh, moving forward on to the actual attack. Let's have a look here. Now, first and foremost, I don't know if this is their... I'm guessing it's their second attack. Um, what I would have done, especially because Darius doesn't have instant training, I would have gone and hacked those rocket launchers. Hacking the rocket launchers, you've got five attacks. Um, get rid of some stuff. I would have used at least one more attack to get rid of the rocket launchers. And then you could walk in with one shock and clear all of these shields. Um, one shock would cover all of this stuff. Like if those ranged rocket launchers were gone, we can throw one shock, get all of that stuff, and then clear this stuff using squishy troops. Moving forward though, we're gonna just focus on this attack. Those smokes are decent. The fact that you moved your flags is less than ideal. Stick your flags in one spot, um, using two different spots, not really ideal. Okay, so that, that, I mean, so far so good. You're moving along, a little bit of gaps in the smoke. That smoke's a little bit out of position. Now, here's where the next issue is. So, you'll notice that Darius does something that I would not do. Because you're waiting for your troops to get all the way to that flare, throw this smoke first, then the flare. Darius throws the flare and then the smoke. So, you can see these Zookas that are like way, let's, stupid drawing app that are way on the left, they're going to do a different path than the Zookas over here. So rather than rushing that flare out, throw your next smoke first, then throw the flare. You'll notice that a little bit of a rush there, troops poking out of smoke. The smoke was timed well, but throw the smoke first. That way you don't have to rush quite so much. And all of these Zookas that are walking up this path over here, would probably walk up the left if you just waited a little bit longer for them to get to that final flare. So otherwise, doing pretty well. Now, again, little mistake here, throwing that next smoke. A, I would have moved my flare a little bit closer up. I probably would have flared somewhere like right about here. Getting your troops closer to the headquarters so they don't have to move when you flare the headquarters. And B, I wouldn't have thrown this smoke. I would have thrown this smoke right here and then this smoke right here. That way you've got great double coverage. Uh, let's just see what's happening here. And there comes the double coverage. So would have been able to save at least one smoke. Would have given you a little bit more gunboat energy towards the core. Now, as an HQ-17 player... Going for the core right now, not a great idea. There are still five shield gens up, so you're not going to have enough damage to take that down. So that is why getting rid of those rocket launchers and or those shields in an attack would have been good, but we're going to comment on the actual hit itself. Let's have a look here. So now watch this. Because his troops are so far from that core, 
from that headquarters, from that whatever the heck that thing's called, uh, their troops are going to have to walk, and you don't want your troops walking when they could be firing right about now. Good shock timing, and then not enough gunboat energy to shock. Oh, there it is. There's the shock on the rocket launcher, just a little bit late. And that's why, um, I mean, overall, it's a good attack, like getting good damage there, brick dies because it's brick, but lots and lots of good things here just need to slow the process down a little bit. And that's where throwing that extra smoke early there instead of the flare, you would probably still have the delay. Um, when shocking, because you've lost the delay, and if you don't know what the delay is, by the way, do hit me up in the comments. Um, I mean, overall, good, good attack just needs to be tightened up a little bit. And the easy, no, and this right here, you see that? Throwing that final barrage on the headquarters is someone who is rushed. You are not doing any good right now. Um, that final artillery and barrage on the headquarters is doing nothing. Uh, you probably should have thrown it on the machine gun. Then you're gonna get rid of that machine gun. If you do, say, two more Korra hits, using all your GBE on the machine gun, that machine gun is no longer an issue. Now you have two shocks instead of three. So um, it's a common, common thing for players who get frustrated on operation attacks on War Factory to throw GBE towards the core. But when the core has, what, a million health? What's 10,000 gonna do to it? So hopefully, uh, Darius, that is useful to you, trying to give you some feedback. Again, I've probably missed some things. If you guys have feedback as well, do let me know. And the number one thing here is join a task force where you're gonna get feedback. We've got lots of them. Kindergarten nine is only one. Kindergarten nine is almost always full. But as you can see right about here, I am constantly kicking people and then letting the task force know why I'm kicking people. If they don't have any op hits on the week, they have no chat and they have low intel, they need to go. I don't believe in 50-person task forces unless there are constant kicks, which keeps things moving along. Speaking of moving things along, I'm finally at a decent level on my mini, my alt. This is my low-level warship account. This is the one, if we go back into the tech tree, that is still using heavy rush, that is still at the three-engine room level, that still doesn't have green mines, so... We've got lots of defenses, went down through brick, went through troop damage, we've got critters. This tech tree is drastically different than my account that is up in 17 doing better. But this one, as you can see by that list, is starting to figure it out. He's heating up. Um, is that NBA Jam? I gotta say, Boom Beach, bring us big head mode. By the way, do let me know what you think about reviewing people's attacks. I know a lot about Boom Beach. I'm pretty good at Boom Beach, and I love giving info along, and I haven't done that before, I don't think, where I've reviewed someone else's attack um, in depth. So if you find that to be helpful, do let me know. Um, we've got a seven times win streak. As you can see, I'm using Cluster Grenade a fair bit, but against some bases, um, just absolutely crushing them using battle orders as well. See, like these straight line bases, I don't know what they're trying to do, but with critters, it just becomes an absolute joke. Like just screaming through. I think my time's like three minutes, 25 seconds or something like that. So if you've got one of those straight line bases, do let me know how it's working out for you. Like maybe it's stopping players who are using bombardiers. Um, by the way, speaking of bombardiers, is it this account? Is it this account? Yes, it is. Uh, SE beat me yesterday on warships using Grenadiers, and uh, it's just so painful to watch. Even if they're winning, I have a really, really hard time using troops that annoy me. So that's why I don't have Grenadiers, and on my other account, I've so far held out from using Bombardiers. Uh, let's get into a live hit, though. Maybe we'll do War Factory later, too? Uh, so for this one, we are going to use Cluster Grenade, we're going to go right, and then we're going to sneak some troops along to the left, just double checking that we've got Cluster Grenade enabled. Supercell, I would love if that right there, if that logo of brick would include a picture of Cluster Grenade so you didn't screw up and use the wrong ability at times, which I'm definitely, definitely guilty of. Let's just do a double check. Shock Mine there. No shock mine there, so we should be good to go with no critters on that side. We are going to use 
six boats, let's use seven boats, what the heck, we'll then get that flare going pretty darn soon. Now, with my critters, I want to try and get both of those shock mines. Is it going to be possible? I couldn't tell you, but nope, didn't quite get it. A little bit unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Now, there is a shock mine behind that cannon right there, but as you can see, by the fact that all of our troops are spread out fairly far, really shouldn't matter all that stinking much. Now it's just a matter of getting the troops on there, getting that flare out in a reasonable time. And now that that's done, it's all about rushing to that final, final engine room. And I am going to screw this up in a drastically terrible fashion. I'm pretty much okay with that. Mostly okay with that. Um, sort of, kind of okay with that. I don't know exactly where that puts me, but we are going to flare onto that engine room right there. Need our heavies to spread right a little bit. That will hopefully keep them alive with that boom cannon knocking on the door. And now out comes Brick. This is where Brick is super, super useful. I mean, we would not have gotten that engine room. And now that cluster grenade is just to get us a little bit extra damage. I totally screwed up. That is my first fizzle in many, many, many attacks. Um, let's just double check. I think that just screwed my win streak. Did I fizzle? I, I have not fizzled in that entire win streak. And the second you and I get together, um, we break up. I fail. I lose that win streak. That is not an ish you. That is an ish me, as my son's teacher likes to say. That is one of those ones that when you write it out, it just doesn't make any sense and it makes people confused. Um, there is a big movement. You know what? There's a decent sized movement right now. I was going to say big movement, but in the grand scheme of the game, it's not a big, big movement, but there are a number of players who are raging right now. And I wanted to make sure that you are 1000% aware of the fact that players are raging about Boom Beach right now. And I got to say, I love that people are upset. Now, please take that at is intended purpose. I love that people are fighting for Boom Beach. That is what I'm excited about. Everspark has been broken. Um, Boom Beach and Supercell say that Everspark has been fixed, and I 1000% disagree with that. Um, you can't have one behavior for six years and then change it and then call it fixed. I don't agree with that at all. Um, and that is exactly what Supercell has done. Supercell has said, hey, Everspark used to do X and now she's going to do Y. And it was a bug for her entire existence, which I got to say, that is not cool. That is absolute bull patootie in my mind and don't like it at all. So a bunch of players have taken it upon themselves to try to get Supercell to fix that behavior. I don't believe it's going to work, but thank you for fighting. Uh, anyone who protests, I am always on your side. I am not generally someone who protests or makes a fuss. So thank you for doing that on the behalf of those of us who are um, apathetic, I believe is the correct term. Um, grenadiers, go and ham. Grenadiers missing. Grenadiers, when they miss, when you want them to miss, such as when you're trying to get the shield generators on Fang or Redline is amazing. Grenadiers, when they miss, when you're trying to get them to do something is so frustrating. And there is the win. We are back in 15. Not going to get that chest. We'll leave that for the moment. This is my other... Oh, man, I said I was in 17. Uh, clearly not going well. Shout out to Boss there. I don't recognize any of those other names except for Flying Triangle. I mean, anytime I see the word triangle, because my task force group is called Triangle 9, that gives a warm spot. Also, Wu-Tang Camp. Check out my end screen. You might recognize that music, Wu-Tang Camp. Now, um, I'll show you a winning attack because... Uh, like I said, I am so, so ridiculously stubborn. Uh, again, just walking in, these bases that you can just walk in straight from are super, super easy, and they're faster with Rifle Zooka than they are with Bombardiers, but there are other bases where I just l completely and utterly screw the pooch. I was going to say screw up, but the pooch also has been screwed. Um, yeah, um, Rifle Zooka is such a mess and it's so easy to screw up. 
I don't know why I'm still using it. I don't have a path forward that I can think of. Um, we're going to go something like this. We're going to send you to there. We're going to go one, two, and three. And there's a good reason for why I'm trying my darndest to not drop rifles on that right-hand side until a little bit later. I would really, really like to not lose many of my rifles to that flamethrower. I also don't want to use a ton of gunboat energy to save things from that flamethrower. But of course, we need to do it anyways. And now it's just a matter of filtering in all of our things slowly, but slowly, but surely. So we're going to drop one boat up that right hand side. And again, with the med kits, so many med kits, um, quick admission, by the way, I am a dummy and I was using med kits and flares and I'm sorry, med kits and shocks. And I had my gunboat at tick three. So do go back, double check your tech tree. Um, there, there's a lot going on this season and on occasion you might just make a mistake and forget to upgrade something kind of like I did. And it's incredibly embarrassing when you do, especially when you're trying to tell people on YouTube that you know what you're doing. And so uh, frustrating times indeed as we get that final med kit out to try and save some of our troops. Those troops on the right hand side are doomed. Need some of our troops to go towards the left hand side and if you're gonna lose you definitely definitely want to make sure that you get at least one engine room because when you're on the precipice of falling out of a rank and you're not getting engine rooms very 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 bad things happen. So we've got a med kit we should be able to get that engine room down. I am probably going to lose this battle, although our opponent also only has one engine room. There we go. We have officially lost this battle. Um, not batting super well on so far. Now, that smoke is for a good reason. There are many, many times, and it's not going to work well right now, but I wanted to do it just out of um, re good cause. So when... Your troops are walking, especially Zookas, they are not firing. There are some troops that there's exceptions for that, obviously. But when they're walking, use that smoke, then throw the med kit. That way you're not wasting the med kit. Um, quick note here, you see, talking about that tech tree, you see I've got 90 keys to go to that next engine room. We could also get medics, which I really would rather not do, probably. Um, this, this, I, I love this bottom path towards heavy choppas. That is insane. Supercell, every time I think you're not paying attention, you come out with something like this. So, and by the way, for those of you who are not HQ 18, that means you can go all the way to heavy choppas. HQ, low HQ players can have heavy choppas this season. It's also going to mean that players who go forwards might be at a disadvantage for those players who go all the way to these heavy choppas. I don't know. It's going to be interesting. Um, I've got to figure out what my strategy going forward on this account is. Uh, probably, like, bombardiers are s just keep calling me. Going even to Seekers is not going to work, is it's a long way backwards, and there are no other troops on the path forwards. So I probably got to just bite the bullet and get bombardiers. Let me know what you guys are doing. Let me know what you're thinking. I guess the other plan would be to go get Kavon maybe. Um, you got to go through medics. Medics with rifle Zuku would be helpful. Let me know what your strategy is. I am drowning at the moment. Um, I'll move to another account. Okay, let's get into War Factory. Now this is an HQ 16 account, so it's one HQ level lower than Darius, and we're going to see how I can do this. Uh, just to show you, I can give advice. I can also hopefully not and follow that up. So it's not just do as I say, not as I do. We are going to damage those two rocket launchers. That is going to be somewhat important because that way Everspark will hack the correct one. Now, double hack, as you've seen, is not super duper likely to work. Sometimes you get the old fancy speed, sometimes you don't. Um, hopefully Supercell will fix it in the fact that you always get the fast speed, but it would be nice if they would fix it just so it's consistent. Um, it's not fixed at the moment. Either they've introduced a new bug or the... Anyways, you get the basic idea. 
We're gonna clear all of those mines. That is gonna be somewhat important. And then we're just gonna use our gunboat energy on that, um, what is that thing called? That is called a machine gun. So that is step number two. We've lost zero troops. We could lose zero troops in three times mode as well. And um, by the way, I have requested that Supercell change it so that three times mode automatically ends when all your troops are gone in case you guys had problems with, um, what is that thing called? The Mega Crab where your troops just disappeared. Now, here's the next step. I like to throw all of my smokes in this corner right there. That way I can get all of my troops over there. We're just going to hang out, and by getting all of our troops in that one consistent spot, that should set us up for decentness. Everspark, of course, did not go into there, and now we just need to shock back here. Don't care about single shot stuff. Um, we're going to get a hack out just to try and shield our troops a little bit. We're going to get back into here. Now, I probably don't need to shock this stuff back here, but we're going to do it anyways just because I'm a little bit concerned that I'm not going to have enough critters, or maybe that my critters will walk into range of those sniper, t of those lasers, sorry. And now just clearing all the things, not losing a heck of a lot of troops, not losing any sleep, and then just shock, shock, de shock, walking through. Want to get rid of as many of these shields as we can on this attack, then we'll come back and do it again. And any extra gunboat energy we have is going to be thrown any second here towards that machine gun. And then we're going to retreat because I don't have enough gunboat energy for shock. So need to get the heck out of dodge. We lost a few more troops than I would have liked. Most definitely we lost 19 Zookas. Uh, but thanks to your operation rewards, should have lots and lots of diamonds. Doing pretty good. Uh, we've... Let's just get into our final spot here. I'm going to drop a smoke over here. We're going to drop all of our Zookas back here. Shouldn't have to throw any smoke yet. And now, again, moving and moving and moving. Now, we're going to throw a smoke about there. Eversparks probably going to drop critters, which is not going to go super duper well. Need to get that shock ready. Otherwise, that laser was going to do all sorts of damage to our troops. Losing one or two Zookas is not the end of the world. Um, just want to clear as much of this as we can. As you can see, that machine gun is gone, so we've done good work there. This shock is an easy, easy shock, and now we can throw our gunboat energy towards that core because we don't have anything left to do except for run the heck away. We've done three attacks. Uh, the important detail here is we've got two attacks left. I don't recommend trying to attack the core on your final hit because when something goes wrong, you're just going to smash your phone and you're not going to be super duper happy. So, um, next up, we're going to drop brick first because we don't want her to get shot by some of those cannons. You see how the cannons are slowly, but slowly, but surely taking shots. And then we're going to flare up where I said that Darius should have flared. That flare is going to be slightly, slightly more effective because our troops won't have to walk. Probably don't want to flare this far because your troops are going to get into fat mode as opposed to skinny mode. Double smoke towards the end. Everything is progressing as we expected it to, and then we're going to shock that Doom Cannon because Doom Cannons like to do splash damage and take out all sorts of Zookas. And now, final bits of GBE onto that core. Lasers and Shock Blasters didn't wreck us. We took it down in four fairly easy attacks. Um, now, I realize you've probably already beaten War Factory because my time zone sucks, but hopefully you can glean some details on how to attack, how to help your task force, how to attack bases, even on warships. The fact, the number of people who don't understand the basic troop behaviors and are confused on warships is very, very high. Like when your bombardiers uh, don't attack the core, they attack some random cannon that's out of range that you don't care about. That is a known behavior. It is all thanks to how troops move and range and things. I guess next up is an operation attack as I find more of those free diamonds on my map. Okay, so earlier on, I mentioned that Grenadiers, when they miss, are fantastic. I also mentioned Redline. We're gonna show Menong's attack. Now, this attack is 
does not go perfectly. Little bit mistakes there where Eversparks out of the smoke, recovers well, gets rid of the shock launcher and the boom cannon. And that is because he's bringing out bombardiers right now. Now, first note, if you're going to bring bombardiers out on red line, you'd better not screw up. Menong doesn't, but when you screw up using bombardiers, it ruins the attack. Those front shield generators can't get destroyed. If they do, this attack is just a whole different beast. Now, Manong was hoping for his bombardiers to get rid of that boom cannon, probably, which did a little bit of damage to those front shield generators, which is a little bit dangerous. But overall, this is where the money is made. You see how he's shocking those grapplers? There's only like six, eight grenadiers that fit outside the range of those grapplers. And that is why he is throwing all of them towards. And look at this. See those shield generators just getting melted? Those grenadiers missing is fantastic. They are shooting over top of that front. Now, when grens miss, they generally miss long, which gets rid of the back shield generators, which is why you don't want to destroy those front shield generators. So now that that has been done, I am going to try my darndest to not screw up the core hit. I am not great at this core hit. I don't do this core hit often, but you know what? We're just going to give it the old college try. Now, he cleared the mines for me to go right, and I don't think I've ever gone right. I am very much NASCAR-like in that approach. I think I would prefer to go left, because i got to shock those mortars anyways, probably. Maybe not. Um... We're going to boost some statues on this. By the way, this is Delta nine. Oh, it's full. So that is great. Task forces are way more healthy. Thanks to this supply chest. More players are playing. More players are attacking. I saw one person say they should move it from one hour to three hour because that person can't get supply chests every hour. And that is about the worst argument I've ever heard. Um, that's like saying, Please only give us cake once every two days because I don't able to control myself. I, I don't know. Um, Give us all of the intel and if we can get it great and if not, then that's okay too. Um, I would rather have the option to get more supply chests than fewer. I would like to get six out of six um, chests, kind of like how warships are where you could have like six chests at a time as opposed to having to log in every hour. But I'm pretty happy with how this has shaken out for 99.9% .9 of task forces. Obviously, Eversparks bug affects that tiny percentage of task forces. No, oh, oh, I thought Smack was taking my hit. Let's get in before someone steals it and less jibber jabber, more attacking. This is gonna be the end of the video as we know it. Um, need that shield to go down. You saw exactly where those grapplers reached to because they were taking grenadiers that went just past that barbed wire fence. And for those of you who have never experienced barbed wire fence, barbed wire fence was super dangerous when it was first introduced. And then they nerfed it. And I'm not sure if that was on purpose or not. But at this point, just watch those health bars, which, by the way, I need to turn off clear. Oh, nope. Almost forgot to drop brick. Need to watch those health bars not a lot of stuff happening. Troops are not all that slowed. Now that does change when you end up with like 24 barbed wire fences in a row, but for right now, and by the way, keeping this delay super, super, super critical. Need to get our troops through. Uh-oh, did I just forget about those mines right there? Let's get that next smoke out. Trying to throw flares and, what are those things called? And artilleries at the same time and smokes at the same time not a good idea next up on the things you should do category make sure that you oh man let's get one two three four get all of those shocks out zuka's walking too far see i don't ever attack from that right hand side that was a just a complete and utter Uh-oh, did the sad, there, did the sad trombone not, oh, there it goes. Not only did I screw up the core hit, I also screwed up the sad trombone hit. So, you know what? Let's do one more attack, shall we? Now, if you see that bottom right-hand corner where it says Season 48 has started and you hate warships and want nothing to do with warships, click it anyways. There are free diamonds, there are free things, assuming you play, there we go, there 
Uh, you will get free diamonds and free tokens if you played last season. I clearly did not click it on this account. That's why I don't get any rewards, even though I was just telling you there are rewards. Click it every season, even if you don't play. That is something that you want to make sure you do. Okay, so let's get to an operation attack. We're going to do cooker because generally speaking, I don't screw up cooker. Um, it has happened. Now, first and foremost, you want to make sure you check the level of that shock mine. Level three is better than some. It's also worse than many. So we're going to get a barrage into this neighborhood. We're going to get an artillery there because why the heck not? Anytime you've got a building like that on life support, I like to get rid of it. Um, it gives you back the same amount of GBE. It also means one fewer shocks. Now, Oh gosh, Zooka's on Cooker. When I don't do a good attack and I go to one of the harder, more detail-oriented attacks, not the best idea on my part, uh, especially when those right-hand side rocket launchers have not been removed. That is going to make this attack a little bit more complicated. Now, we are going to walk to here. We're also going to drop Bullet out. Uh, don't have a lot of gunboat energy. That is why it is important that that shock mine is there. We're going to get our troops going. I like to flare back to there, trying to talk and move and all the rest at all of the same time. Not ideal. Now that, uh, what's that thing called? A mortar seems like it's in a weird, weird spot. Seems like it's a little bit closer than what we're used to, but uh, should be okay, I think. First and foremost, let's shock back there and back there and Oh no, medkits, 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 medkits. It is all about the medkits on this one because those mortars and machine guns are chewing through our troops. Not enough GBE. This account has mega crab statues. And so probably should have farmed some GBE on the left. Probably could have cleared all of these mortars using bombardiers, but want just Took Tina to take my head out of my rear end on that. Too many shocks for a crab account um, with extra defenses and yeah, just not great. But with 15 attacks, that shouldn't hamper things. Lots of mistakes. Um, I guess there's like a lesson here where even the best players make mistakes, trying to pretend like I am the best players. Uh, that's going to be it though. Not enough time, as you saw by the fact that I did not release a video yesterday. That is not because I don't love you. It's just because work and life and baseball and the last week of school. By the way, those of you who are in the last week of school, um, it's both exciting times and terrifying times. I work from home, so the idea of three children being in my space all day, every day is absolutely terrifying. Do send your love. Um, and words of encouragement. Also, don't forget to comment on Darius's attack and like and share and subscribe and all of that youtube -y stuff. Otherwise, I shall talk to you soon. Same Z channel, same Z time for the next video. Should be able to get that out tomorrow, assuming I'm not drowning in children. I'm Zedmot. Thank you for coming in. Talk to you soon. Peace.